Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Now this video is quite different from videos on this channel. It is probably one of my my second or third maybe personal um sorry, let me just fix the lens. Personal video. Um in as the title says, my relationship with God. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not an atheist or anything like that. I do. I love God. I believe in God. I am so grateful to him. He has humbled me and has um, allowed things to pull my way and my direction. But it's just that in the last couple of years, I felt a void. Not a couple of years, but really recently, I felt a void in me. I mean, my career is going great. My home life is awesome. You know, I have a new husband and he's amazing and he's great to my daughter and I and you know, my family loves his family and vice versa. And so it's nothing to do with that. It's just, I don't know. I found myself the last couple of days watching um, testimonials on YouTube from women um, giving their testimony of how God has been such a great factor in their lives and how they have this amazing relationship with him. And I guess I'm envious of that because I think having went to um, Catholic school my whole life and you know having done the whole first communion confirmation all that stuff um, it's kind of just routine at this point to me the whole God in my life has just been like routine like I routinely uh, pray every night you know for the most part I routinely routinely say the Hail Mary the um the lord's prayer just all of them i routinely ask that he continues to send healthy you know thoughts and just healthy um a healthy lifestyle healthy you know just health how great health my direction and directions of those whom i love my family my friends but in terms of from what i hear from people saying that they talk to him all the time that he like just in talking about him it brings tears to their eyes because they're just so amazingly grateful for his um you know for him being in their lives and i'm like i don't have that i mean i i am extremely grateful you know i went through some health issues um couple of years ago where I had to have major surgery um, on my ovaries and I've never discussed it on YouTube and maybe I will make a video on it um, but you know prior to the surgery I was on medication for a while and the last resort was um, having the surgery because the meds weren't working um, and and I did it and the, and the surgery was successful and I'm grateful for that of course but I was just so enthralled in God and, and, and thanking him and so grateful for him sending my husband my direction, especially when I was going through what I was going through. It was in the beginning of us dating, so that was the type of thing that would scare anyone away. But, you know, my husband pulled, he hung in there and he, you know, he was there for me and everything like that. But um, I don't know, guys. I... I, I, I commend people who, when they talk about God, it it's like they're in front of a church and they're just like laying down the, um, the what you call that, not verses, but like, you know, the, the, the um, see, I need, I should, I, I don't own a Bible. I think I should own a Bible. If you have any suggestions, please put them down below of the kind of Bible I should buy. Verses, that's it. Um, they quote the verses and they remember them and they sync the words of the verses to what they're trying to say, you know. And it just seems as if it just kind of flows effortlessly. Like, and for me, it's like pulling teeth. For me, it's just... This is what you do. You go to school, you have your first communion, you see the priest, and you um, 
you tell him all your sins and you go do 25 Hail Marys and you know what I mean like this is what has been like not brainwashed but kind of been pushed into my head when it comes to the Catholic religion when it comes to uh, my relationship with God but I don't know I'm looking for more and I in high school my best friend was a Baptist and I ended up just going to her church like every Sunday I joined a choir I was doing you know the youth activities with the church folk like and it was awesome it was awesome but I don't know if I really had a relationship with God so I guess I'm making this video to kind of see you know maybe you guys have some recommendations have some suggestions maybe you guys feel the same that I do maybe you feel like you're the oddball in your friends or in your family because you don't feel the gospel or the word like they do you don't while you appreciate their relationship with him you you're envious or you don't have that so it's kind of like do one ear not the other and and God is everything you know and and I believe in him I, I, I strongly do and I don't know I just feel like my heart there's a hole and regardless of how happy my husband makes me, regardless of how happy my work makes me, and the difference I make in my students' lives, the hole is still there, you know. Um, so I'm coming to you to see maybe if you, you know, share the problems that I'm facing right now. And... Um, yeah, and again, maybe I need to really go to church. I don't really go to church. I haven't been to church in a while. Um, really because of where I moved, there isn't an American church. I mean, there's churches um, around my way, but they're all in Spanish, um, which I don't understand why they don't have um, an English service, but that's neither here or there. Um, so that's probably, no, that's been the reason why I haven't really gone. And funny enough, my daughter goes to Catholic school, and I even find myself Googling, uh, like, helping her with her religion homework, because I honestly don't even remember um, these passages and these stories that she, you know, she has homework on and she has exams on, and she's telling me. And I find that really, like, sad, because, like I said, you know, I went to Catholic school my whole life you know even college um, but yet still I don't feel it like I think I should so in any event um, didn't make for this video to go super long let me know your thoughts um, I welcome them and um, yeah I'll catch you guys on the next video